Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In last video, we have learned the accounting equation. Today, we will solve the problem on accounting equation. So, let's start with the problem number one. Prepare accounting equation from the following. Number one, Kuna started business with cash rupees 250,000. He purchased furniture for cash rupees 35,000. Third one, he paid commission rupees 2,000. He purchased goods on credit rupees 40,000. Fifth one, he sold goods costing rupees 20,000 for cash rupees 26,000. So these are the transactions. Now let's start the solution. Before that, accounting equation, what it signifies? It signifies that the assets of a business are always equal to its total liabilities plus capital. That is, A is equal to L plus C. So by taking this equation, we will solve this problem. So the solution is, assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. So the first transaction is Kunal started business with cash rupees 250,000. So this person Kunal has started business with cash rupees 250,000. So he has brought the cash into the business. So cash is a asset. So we will take under the head asset that is cash 250000 first transaction under the head cash we will write 250000 and this 250000 is a capital because whatever the amount he has invested to start the business that amount that cash is called capital correct what do you mean by capital capital is the amount invested by the owner to start the business and this person Kunal has started business with cash rupees 250,000. So cash is an asset. So we will take under the head assets cash that is 250,000. And the same this 250,000 is treated as capital. So write under the head capital 250,000. Clear? So Kunal in Madidane 250,000 cash in the business again. Are 2 lakh 50,000 in the business and start Madidane. So, cash, he has brought the cash. So, cash in the one asset. So, we will take under the head asset that is 2 lakh 50,000. So, in Hanaman investment Madidane, that amount is called capital. Bandavan. So, the same 2 lakh 50,000 is treated as capital. Clear? First transaction clear. Second, he purchased furniture for cash rupees 35,000. So, Kunal has purchased the furniture. So, furniture is a fixed asset. It is a assets. So, we will take under the head asset. Before that, same amount we will write here. 250,000 and same capital 250,000. And the second entry is. He purchased furniture for cash rupees 35,000. So, this is business ali, furniture bandide, and furniture is a asset. So, we will take under the head asset, write furniture and take amount here 35,000. So, this furniture and he purchase maadidane by paying the cash. So, Cash in payment, we have cash balance. We have cash in payment. We have cash in payment. We have cash in payment. How much cash we have? 2 lakh 50,000. Correct? 2 lakh 50,000. From this 2 lakh 50,000, we have taken 35,000 to purchase this furniture. So minus 35,000. We have 2 lakh 50,000 rupees. We have 2 lakh 50,000 in the 35,000 rupees. And now, Adrinda Navin Madideve, furniture and purchase Madideve. So 
the furniture business ge bartade that is a asset so we will record here under the head asset and this 35000 will be deducted from this 250000 cash amount here 250000 kelagade minus 35000 because we have made the payment we have paid the cash so the balance is from 250000 minus 35000 we will get 215000 and this will be the same 35000 so liability is nil but capital as it is 250000 clear second transaction clear third one he paid commission rupees 2000 paid commission is paid andre a business in en madidane a business in en cash ide adrinda nav en madideve commission annu paid madide paid madid mele cash balance in ide adu reduce agutte yes commission paid so whatever the amount or the balance we have from that we have to deduct 2000 rupees because it is paid so the third entry is minus 2000 because this commission is paid not received received andre plus agatte paid andre minus agatte so 2000 minus so if anything is paid received profit made loss so all these things will affect on the capital so this paid commission will affect on the capital so minus 2000 okay cash hoy talla business so minus 2000 under the head capital so if anything uh, expenses paid or any income received any profit made or loss incurred so all these things will affect on the capital clear so from 215000 minus 2000 you will get 213000 and this will be the same plus 35000 furniture amount and here in capital from 250000 minus 2000 you will get 248000 fourth transaction he purchased goods on credit rupees 40000 so fourth transaction what it say that kunal has purchased goods so goods means product understood goods mean product or inventory so goods is a asset so this will take under the head asset plus goods and the amount is 40,000 so this goods he has purchased on credit credit means udar udar me kharida hua okay so he purchased goods on credit means now he has purchased the goods but the payment on that purchases is outstanding he will pay that amount in future and this is treated as credit he purchased goods on credit means he has to pay the 40,000 rupees to the creditor on credit purchase and this credit amount is treated as liability so cash igashte ee kharidi madida nanu goods adre aa moment alla avane madlilla payment madlilla ayin 40000 rupees kodudide he will make the payment in future and this is treated as credit so and this credit will will take under the head liabilities so creditor so whatever the amount he has to pay that is treated as creditor and this thing we have to write under the head liability creditor amount is 40,000 so cash in payment model 
So cash balance will be the same. Two lakh thirteen thousand. Furniture amount is same, thirty five thousand. And here goods is added in the business. So plus forty thousand. Then Kunal has the liability that is creditor forty thousand. And capital amount is same, two lakh forty eight thousand. Clear this entry. So the last entry is. He sold goods costing rupees twenty thousand for cash twenty six thousand. So he has. This we will see later. He sold goods for cash rupees twenty six thousand. Sold goods means goods goes out of the business and cash. Comes into the business, correct? He sold goods for cash means cash comes into the business and goods go out of the business. So cash plus cash twenty six thousand. So he goes goods in made the sale made the way sale made me lam ge hana sitte the because he has sold the goods for cash. So cash comes into the business. So plus twenty six. Thousand, correct. So yes, to the value of the the actual value of the actual value of goods is how much? Twenty thousand, correct. The actual value of goods is twenty thousand. But this Kunal has sold that goods for twenty six thousand, correct. The actual value of goods is twenty thousand. But he has sold that goods for twenty six thousand. Means he has made the six thousand profit. Correct. So on this transaction, Kunal has made the profit of rupees six thousand. So this six thousand we treat as a profit to the business, and we will add here in capital plus six thousand. And how much goods we had? Goods is forty thousand, correct? We had goods forty thousand, but now we have sold the goods of costing rupees twenty thousand. Now we have forty thousand the goods it to. And the last fifth transaction I have made is twenty thousand of goods and no sale made there. So minus twenty thousand. So right here under the head goods minus twenty thousand. Clear for selling the goods for twenty six thousand, it is to be added and so on. And uh, goods go out of the business, so minus twenty thousand. And on this transaction, we have made the profit of rupees six thousand. So this we take. Under the head capital plus six thousand, and the final amount is two lakh thirteen thousand plus twenty six thousand. Total is two lakh thirty nine thousand. Cash furniture amount is same thirty five thousand. Goods is twenty thousand. From forty thousand minus twenty thousand, we will get twenty thousand. Credit amount is the same. Forty thousand, and capital is two lakh forty eight thousand plus six thousand. You will get two lakh fifty four thousand. Clear? Cash balance is two lakh thirty nine thousand. Furniture is thirty five thousand, and goods is twenty thousand. So the accounting question: What it say that the assets of a business? Are always equal to the liabilities and capital. This one we will prove now. So the accounting equation: assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. So assets means what we will come here in this problem. Cash is there. Cash final balance is two lakh thirty nine thousand. Then furniture. Furniture final amount is thirty-five thousand. Then 
roots amount is 20,000 add these three figures 2,39,000 plus 35,000 plus 20,000 you will get 2,94,000 so the total amount of assets is 2,94,000 so right here 2,94,000 so liability is how much? 40,000 and capital is 2,54,000. So same 2,94,000. Now add these two amount 40,000 plus 2,54,000. And the total is 2,94,000. So the assets of a business are always equal to the liabilities and capital of the business. Clear this equation? You got this problem? Any doubt? Please, if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. I hope you got the solution. So, in my next video, I will solve one more problem on this accounting equation. Thank you, students.